The video opens with the unlimited logo animated on a red background. Throughout the video, all the interviewees are talking to camera. The film opens with artist Raquel Masega. She is sat in front of a large window. I think Unlimited has changed the landscape and everybody else has kind of had to react to that. What I love about the way that they do it is that the art and the access are completely combined. This is followed by artist Lloyd Coleman. He is standing in a large office. They're not only talking to disabled artists and supporting disabled artists with uh, networking events and commissioning opportunities and seminars and webinars, but they're also talking to the cultural sector. You know, they're really serious about um, addressing inequality in its many forms. His interview is followed by board member Tom Riles. He is sat in front of a window overlooking the River Avon. Unlimited isn't only commissioning artists, changing society, changing the sector. We're sort of reinventing how an arts organisation arts organization exists at the same time in a way that, you know, we'll go to HR professionals and say, we want to do this, and they go, we have never seen, we have never seen this exploration before. Next up is an interview with board member David Tovey. He is sat in a white conference room. I were the first funder to ever fund my work, and... Um, I've never looked back since, because since that day, I've gone on to have shows all around the world. And I think that's what Unlimited does so well with the support structure they have in, because they don't just fund, they have the support side as well. Um, and that alone helps you grow as an artist. Um, most funders don't do that. We return to the interview with Raquel. Her interview is intercut with stills from previous Unlimited commissioned works. There is someone in a carnival outfit, an audience member taking a photo of an installation, a woman in a sparkly outfit on a catwalk, and a man surrounded by other performers looking surprised. Without Unlimited, I just... So many of the great works that I've seen by disabled artists just wouldn't exist. Um, so all those people that I know, including myself, would probably still be trying to um, exist without being bold and articulate about, about our needs. I just, I just think so many yeah. great disabled artists wouldn't have been given the support they need to make the work that they want to make in the way that they want to make it. There are animated titles that read, In our first year as a company, we have made 57 commissioned awards to 91 disabled artists, achieving 123,422 audiences for live events, 253,849 audiences for broadcast, online or literature. Taking our total as a programme and company to 505 commissioned artists, 5.8 million awarded disabled artists. Find out more at weareunlimited.org.uk there are the words supported by. Underneath this, there are various logos. There is a logo that reads Arts Council England Lottery, funded, supported using public funding by Arts Council England. Another that reads Arts Council of Wales. One that reads British Council. Another that reads Creative Scotland. And one that reads Paul Hamlin Foundation.